Hey, what's going on guys? It's ManoDestra777 and we're back inside of Destiny here with your weekly reset for May 3rd, 2016. Thank you for stopping by the stream, guys. Uh, if you like something that I bring to you in this video, please hit that bu like button, hit that subscribe button for more Destiny content. Helps me out a ton and lets me know that the content that I'm making for you is worthwhile. But with that, let's get to it. Again, the Nightfall is the Dust Palace Strike here on Mars. Let's take a look at the active modifiers today. The active modifiers for this week's uh, this week's strike are Solar Burn, where solar damage from any source is greatly increased. Brawler, where guardian melee damage is greatly increased. Ironclad, where more enemies have shields. And Airborne, more players do more damage while in the air. Now, this is kind of a cool strike. Um, if you've got a hunter like I do, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to run a build where I use the Gunslinger as well as, I don't have it on my character right now, but I think it's in my vault, um, but run Celestial Nighthawk. Because Airborne and Solar Burn is on, if I run Celestial Nighthawk, which basically combines all of my Golden Gun shots together into one shot, if I jump up into the air and shoot one of the Scion Flares, it's essentially a one-hit kill. It's awesome. It's a really fast way to do it, guys. Trust me, it's a great way. Uh, to go through this strike, it gets you a lot of uh, a lot of power all in one strike. It's a really cool thing to do. Just jump up, just in the air, just a little bit. Use your Celestial Nighthawk. It works really well. If not, just bring any kind of a Solar Burn weapon, like for example your Quillum's Terminus. If you've got a Zen Meteor, if you are on PS4, or if you've got a Black Spindle or something like that, you guys should bring that. Again, Brawler, where Guardian melee damage is greatly increased. This is a really really nice strike this week. And guys, what's cool about this is you can get the treads upon star scout rifle or you can get one of the scion flares mantles you can see here that i have the void flare mantle here on my hunter right now that is one of the cool things you can get from this strike if you do not have that this is a great time to farm it guys so that is the nightfall strike for may 3rd let's go and see what else is going on in the universe of destiny Last week, we had a ton of stuff to do. We had a bunch of things to do in Destiny. This week, it's a little bit different because we do not have Iron Banner with us. Uh, we do have a couple of other things that we're going to go over. Let's take a second and go through to the Challenge of the Elders. Now, reminders, guys, if you need a Sterling package, uh, Sterling treasure package, there are a couple of ways to get it. First of all, one of the ways you can get it is uh, do the level 41 arena for any of your characters. Um, the next one is to just go visit your postmaster in any case uh, go visit the postmaster or go and check out the weekly competitive multiplayer by just playing that game to completion you will get your three sterling treasure packages that's your easiest way to do it guys so I highly recommend you get those out of the way get your sterling treasure packages and go from there so guys next up we have the challenge of the elders here make sure you go to the reef and pick up a uh, elder sigil um, the modifiers this week is Brawler, Super Kill Bonus, and Ironclad. The bosses this week are the Overmind Minotaur, which I don't believe we've faced yet. That is the Vex. That's the first round. Next up, we have Psylocke the Defiled, which is basically the uh, Hive Knight that shoots fire and the fire stays on the ground. I call it the Lightning Fire too, but it essentially sticks onto the ground and it's very, very, very deadly. Uh, next up, we have Norusk, Servant of Oryx, and that is a Cabal boss, and I don't believe we've seen him yet either. So we've got a couple of new bosses this week, guys. As soon as I get a chance, I'm going to show you those uh, show you those bosses. Um, I'll be definitely doing that on stream later tonight. But again, you're looking for Brawler. Super kill bonus. You want to get builds with your supers as much as possible so a couple of things when you're when you're building and specking out your characters you want to make sure that your characters can build the most orbs as possible if you are on a hunter you definitely need to be on your night stalker um, if you're on your warlock um, you can be on pretty much any character but I would think that maybe the storm caller would be a nice pick um, uh, as well as tighten your your uh, sun bro 
uh, Titan will be a really good pick for this again, guys. So um, Ironclad basically means that there are more enemies with shields. So bring a number of different weapons to knock that out. Again, make sure you pick out your Elder Sigil and go from there, guys. So that is the challenge of the Elders. And remember, you can always do the level 41 arena. That also has matchmaking, so it's pretty easy to get your Sterling Treasure Package if you are interested in that. Let's go ahead and talk about the raid this week. This week we have the Golgoroth Challenge Mode. Um, that'll get you, um, if you do and complete the Challenge Mode, you will get light level gear that is higher. Um, also, you will get a Calcified Fragment and an Emblem if you complete it on the different difficulties, guys. So what is the Golgoroth Challenge? Essentially what I tell people is, is that you have to have every single person in the fire team and you have to set, have six people in the fire team. You have to have all six people in the fire team grab Golgoroth's gaze during the damage phase one time. Um, the way it's designed is Golgoroth opens his back six times. Every person in the fire team has to be able to get his gaze at one period in the, in the stream uh, or in the in the game. So if you get a chance, check out my stream. I have a couple of different ways of doing this, but we have a really nice way of doing this that is very, very, very clear. It's very easy to do. It's a smart way to do it. It involves uh, using a Titan with Defender Bubble, obviously, uh, and then Weapons of Light, as well as a Sunbreaker Titan with, uh, uh, I believe it's uh, Melting point um, and insurmountable skull fort it basically allows you to burn down the boss very very fast again check out my, my live streams or you can even ask me questions if you have a question about that post that down in the comment section below again that will get you light level gear that is higher just a reminder guys do not look down on moldering shards get as many of the moldering shards as possible because anytime you get a normal drop you will have the chance of getting a higher light level item guys so that is the king's fall raid for this week with gold roth challenge this week the court of Orcs tier 3 boss is Kagor. The Kagor boss is essentially um, the ogre, or the, uh, I believe it's called uh, the Servile Ogre, uh, and you have to kill the Ogre and then kill the Wizard. So the biggest thing is you have to kill the Ogre, that way you can do damage to the Wizard. That is Kagor, uh, and that is the Tier 3 boss this week. Let's go and take a second and talk about what we've got over here for our weekly and daily missions today. We've got our Inferno 6v6 competitive multiplayer here for the weekly uh, the weekly uh, competitive multiplayer. Uh, Inferno essentially means that there's just no radar. Uh, next up up for our daily we have con control for our competitive multiplayer the daily heroic story is go to the temple of crota and destroy crota's soul that is not the lost to light mission guys but if it ever is the lost to light mission guys uh, we just had it i believe two days ago um, my stream helps people get their black spindles we carried probably about 60 to 70 people through that encounter on uh sunday and we had a great blast of a time doing it again just come check out my twitch live streams if you are interested in that uh, we'll get you through and we will get you everyone a black spindle but again this is not the lost to light this is the dark below I believe it's called the awakening uh, is the is the story mission guys next up we can always go and get your vanguard heroic strikes uh, you can get legendary marks you have an opportunity to get 30 legendary marks uh, there um, in addition guys um, one thing that we have seen is that if there are strike specific loot that you want um, there's a really good chance that you are able to get higher light level gear um, that you have. So, for example, I got a Dark Blade Splite at uh, Dark Blade Spite. It's a fusion rifle from the Dark Blade Strike. We got it at 334. So, if you still need higher light level gear, and then maybe you can't do the raid right now uh, just because people aren't around or something like that, go grind strikes. If you get any kind of a legendary weapon uh, that is a strike specific weapon, you are able to. To get that at a higher light level guys so just a suggestion for you of course we have our nightfall and that's about it guys that's about everything there is to do in destiny since we don't have iron banner anymore uh, lord saladin has gone did you have a good time playing uh iron banner i know that i did if you are interested at all leave those comments down below if you want to talk about maybe what your experience was like in iron banner i really want to hear from you guys and what you're looking forward to next in destiny guys so um we're gonna go to the tower just to make sure that there's nothing new and nothing crazy going on there again guys if you are interested to come check out my twitch live streams all that information is down in the description box below come check it out we have a really nice community and a massive thank you to all of
of you guys who are following me on Twitch. And thank you for helping me get over 2,000 followers on Twitch. And guys, the community is just getting bigger and growing all the time. And we want you to be a part of it, guys. So, um, guys, make sure you stop on in the stream. And I'll see you next time in the universe of destiny.